Okay, welcome back to your favorite part of Monday. Is it our favorite part of Monday? It's our favorite part of Monday as well. Today, instead of uh, Jonas, I have Nathan here. He can do a little more work than uh, Jonas. Just slightly. Just slightly, just slightly, but he can. So we are going to today show you our laying hen chicken setup. And today we are moving them because that we do that like every four days or whenever it needs done, really. And so we're gonna show you how we move them. We're gonna show you the shelter we built. And this kid, we're gonna show you this kid. That's about it. So we're out here with the chicken pen behind me and Nathan. So this is our sweet setup. It works really nicely. And I'm going to uh, video Nathan showing it off. So uh, while I show you this chicken setup, Nathan is going to start moving them. He's going to start taking down the net. So we've got a poultry net, electric net around it to help keep the chickens in, obviously, so they don't go running off, and to keep wild animals out. It's electric mainly to keep wild animals out, but it also helps keep the chickens in. We'll go ahead and show you the design. This is an old hay wagon chassis that I went ahead and put a roof on and a water, bucket water with a little nipples screwed into the bottom of the bucket. And I put, hang, hung a feeder and some egg baskets. It's really handy. They're all right on the, hay, mounted to the hay wagon. So we just take down the net as you can see Nathan doing. Pull it forward, we only have one net. So we just take down the whole net, pull it forward, and the chickens, they know that this is their home. So they'll kind of scatter like this. It's not really a big deal, because chickens are pretty easy to herd. Also they know that this is their house, so after we pull it forward, they come back, and we put the net back around them and then we're done, so it's really simple. If you wanna get us, make us something like this, you don't have to have quite a big hay wagon. You could do a small pen or you know, a small little house or something that you could even lock them up in at night. I've seen that. But these nets, they're Premier One nets. They do not sponsor this video or give me any money to say that, but they're really good nets. They're the same people I get my pig nets from and stuff, so go check them out if you're looking for electric supplies, electric fence supplies or nets or anything. Nathan's got the net down. Did Grab, all the work. Did all the work while I just talked. I'm having to do work, I'm holding the camera. So we'll hook up the tractor and move it forward and herd some chickens. <laughs> Nathan's setting up the net again because he knows how to work. That's it, that's all it is. It's super simple setup. Yeah. I think all the work's done. I come over here and 
talk to Nathan and ask him about his experience, you know. Uh, how did that feel? Well, if this is all the labor that you could ever put out somewhere down there. That's a lot of labor, Nathan, for you. I know. Okay. But you, you do to your angle. Do you see that? What? What in the world? Something in the cornfield. What is it? It's a subscribe button with the family of likes. Okay, so as you saw in that cool shot right there where it was like up high and saw us both, you know, we went ahead and what we like to do afterwards is, uh, after setting the net up, is go around and just kind of tighten up the whole net and get all the slack out of it. It looks nice, makes it hard to push the weeds, sometimes there's weeds in the bottom, push them out of the way. It's pretty easy. As for choosing spots in our pasture, we always choose the worst spot, which sounds a little funny because, you know, you'd want the best spot for your animals, but no. This case with these chickens, they are helping and healing the soil, so they're putting a lot of good manure right on our soil. They scratch it up, disturb it a little bit. So they make our, sorry about that. They make our worst spot of the pasture into really good soil and good pasture for the pigs or if we put a cow or sheep or whatever we end up putting here. Something that's dependent on the pasture. These, we're feeding them anyway. So if you ever buy eggs from us, these are the chickens that uh, laid them. If you haven't or you're not a follower of us on Instagram, you should go follow us on Instagram, Humble Haven Farm. Also, if you'd be interested, we are thinking about getting t-shirts, Humble Haven Farm t-shirts. And if you are interested in supporting us and buying one of those, leave a comment like, yes for the t-shirts, or maybe hats or a hoodie or something, because we'd definitely go ahead and make some if people would be interested in supporting us that way. Thanks for watching. See you again on a different Monday.